This is a place that I love, the Falklands, a group of islands sitting deep in the South Atlantic. I love the rugged beauty, the wildlife, and the tranquility. But every time I return, I think back to what happened here 40 years ago. Since 1833, these islands have been designated a British overseas territory. That means their defence and foreign policy have been run from Westminster, even though the UK is more than 8,000 miles away in that direction. Argentina, though, is just 400 miles over there, and they've long disputed that rule, claiming that the islands are theirs. In 1982, they decided to do something about it. On April the 2nd, Argentine forces invaded the Falklands and claimed them as their own. The Argentines are now in control of the whole Falkland Island complex, but it's a victory bought at a price. A British task force of over 100 ships travelled south to take back the territory. And after a series of brutal battles, they did just that and returned home to a hero's welcome. That's the story everyone knows, but it isn't the story we'll be telling tonight. Over the years, I've read so many accounts, the battles, the heroism, the tragedy here, but there's one battle from that time that's hardly remembered. No one ever talks about it. I had certainly never heard of it. And it involved a really small garrison of Royal Marines that were already here. And this battle actually happened the day that Argentina invaded. This is Naval Party 8901, a small group of Royal Marines who became the first, last, and only line of defense against a 3,000 strong invasion force. It was a suicide mission, that's what it was. We were all going to die. Their heroic stand in the face of impossible odds has been all but forgotten, even though the press coverage of the time has not. We've been labelled, if you want to call it that, as cowards. Forty years on, I'm here to tell the true story of what happened to the men of the forgotten first battle of the Falklands conflict. The truth definitely needs to be told and it deserves to be told. The story needs to be put right and the truth needs to come out.